Welcome back Samurai, my name is Dr. Craven and this is some Warrior Ruby Universalis 4 playing as Japan. Last time I discovered the fact that Ternat, this island, was colonizing New Caledonia down here. At plus five per year. But still, they're colonizing and they, they have their colonists there, so they do get the chance of a colonist. But it's... It's hilarious to me, definitely. You have a claim on Changsha, good. Mm. I would actually really like to finish. We have a claim on Wuchang. Would really, really, really like to finish um, this colony first. So, I'm gonna send in the reinforcements. As long as bloody Castile doesn't take Kagirkin, Kagirgin, something, something, then it's fine. These guys are plus 200. Um, let's see. Can I piss them off by converting their religion? Probably, yes. Subject interactions. Changsheng. Yeah, go ahead and force my Shinto religion on you guys. They'll hate me for it. Actually, they don't hate me for it, they just get rebellion, uh, Liberty Desire. And they don't even go above 50%. Takes 100 months for that to take down. Plus one Mercantilism. Oh yes, Mercantilism is right. Mercantilism at 15%. 26.88 trade income. Well, 26.8. It's not bad. Actually making 13.51. Oh, right, because we don't have a fourth colony running right now. Very important to note. Um, he doesn't like us as much as they could. We can take a royal marriage over them. Uh, still, no, go away. Manchu can definitely needs to be improved, even. That's going up to max. Actually... We might be able to annex them at some point. I do want to get Mongolia and Manchu annexed by the end of this, though. Okay, so we're paying how many points each month to do this? Three right now each month. And we're currently still in need of 373. If we were to, say, try to annex Miao, 112. And he would be uh, 224. Yes, and Cheng they're not long enough right now, no. We do need to improve the relations on these guys. I mean, Mongolia and Manchu will take way too long regardless. 984 and 728. Manchu is actually faster than Mongolia. But if I could time it right with annexing Meow, that would be nice. Even though it would still give me two provinces in the middle of freaking nowhere to get. Ningguo, let's core it. I do want to get rid of my negative... Um, oh, my overextension, yeah. That's still very important to drop. Gaining plus five. Yeah, we did lose some Diplo rep. Probably... Because of our overextension, yeah. It doesn't round up right now, does it? No, I don't think so. April 57, only 10 years left. That is not bad. There we go. That went really fast at that point. Holy crap. Let's some, send someone to Kagrigin. That went really fast, actually. Do we need to core it? We'll soon have a core in Chinook, which might be enough to start us on our westernization, but I don't want to start it just yet because um, kind of gonna need to have some admin points available to boost stability, and I would first like to get that overextension gone as well. 
army reformer. Um, be, but because we do make enough money. Oh yes, 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 yes. The minus unrest guy. It's perfect for that. How old is he? Thirty-four. He could go through the entirety of. Um... No, look. Russia is no longer a valid rival. Fill our coffers. Have two thousand ducats. Shouldn't be possible. Really, it should be. Um, also, can I not westernize? Be well, we are overextended, so we have to wait for that. Apparently. I didn't realize that, but it's a good point. We cannot be overextended. Create. We have to start it before we form a colonial nation here. That's also the thing. We... Good news. Jehalis has naval supplies. Chinook has the gold, though. Also, if we form the nation after we... Um... Good. Giziga is scored. Yeah, if we form the nation after we have gone through westernization, they should be western tech. I actually don't know if... What happens with... Um, in between. Put into the treasury. Well, I kind of need the admin bar, so... But I also have the mission for fill our coffers right now. Five, so that's ten months worth. That's a lot more than ten months worth of money, so... I'll take the money for it just as once. Because I have the mission. That's... If I didn't have fill our coffers, it would have been admin bar any day of the week, but right now that was too tempting not to take. One of our generals has died. Oh no. Also, we are getting very close to the tech. But having all that military power saved up is not bad either. Hmm. Also, these guys become 50% more expensive. So currently we're paying... 25, so that will go up by some 12 and a half, which we can deal with. Oh, we did lose our inflation guy, that's right. That's why fill our coffers will also be useful. Yeah. Kalima, Hungary, we'll see the hum. So yeah, we will lose quite a bit of uh, un reduced unrest here. So we're currently at minus 8.94. Um, the 1.45 is still going to disappear in the meantime. I can still take this. Then again, it will be a lot cheaper to do this once we have westernized. So it might actually be an idea just to get at least an idea in right now. Maybe. Nah. Uh, just the fact that our naval ideas make them quite less appealing right now. I'll just save up my military power for the time being. Because I want to westernize border friction. Um, perhaps a change in policy is in order. Let's see. You guys start improving relations. How long do you have left? Still April of 57, so eight years left. Treasure died. Well, I kind of like the minus unrest. I'm just having him ready for when we go there. And he's a 2, so he's cheaper than a 3, and the 3 would be too expensive right now. A Traveling Monk. Either lose that or lose that much money, but gain prestige. I don't want to lose the admin power right now, so I'm actually spending... So basically, we just lost half the money we gained, and regained half the admin points we never got them in the first place. If that makes any sense. Provence will cede Anjou to France. Great Britain will cede Normandy to France. France is coming back, baby. Yeah, I think it's my Poland game in which Brittany is huge. Yeah, I'm like, Brittany exists, so Brittany can become France in the in that campaign as well, which is quite scary too. 32 months and we can start. In 32 months, we're gonna get 160 admin power. So we're gonna go to plus one stability. Before we start that, 
I'm probably also at that point going to focus at Menvar. Um, so 32 months. We need 8 years to annex Min. Mm, but we do have a lot of Diplo points and especially military points in reserve. Fish will now be produced up there in... We're going to go there. Soon we're going to be westernizing. It's actually very exciting. I haven't westernized in a game. Well, I haven't played some of um, this in... Yeah. Uh, pump called the Spirit of the Little Ice Age, which means prices of wine and fish are going up or down. Not sure. Fish uh, went down in price, definitely. Holy crap. I think we were we produce a lot of fish on this bloody island. 25% for coldest period of the little ice age. Holy crap. Yeah, those straight price goods changes. Oh well. <laughs> Colonial Ventures. Um, I'm not going to attack in the next 10 years anyway. That saves money. Uh, excellent Minister, um, which means 1 stability, 25 prestige and 40 admin power, or 100 mil power and 10 army and navy tradition. Ooh. Already at 3 stability, though. I can't start my... Yeah, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the admin because we're gonna need the admin in a long time. Bohemia forced away Crim Hungary will cede Hunyad to the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is doing very well. Scary well. Competing great power. We're on the other side of the world, but why is Russia not our valid rival anymore? Are we too strong now or what's the deal? Master of the Mint has died, and Artist replaces them. Zhang Sheng pretend the rebels. Might be able to deal with them themselves. Dali Li Who are they fighting? Yarkand, of course they are. Oh, Manchurian. Oh, that's also in Manchu. My vassals are having all the problems right now. Okay, so 1,168. Which means 232. 232. So if we had Yi... If we... Oh, if we had the relationship with Yi, we could start their annexation right now. Right now, and we would finish the same day on both of them. But that's not the case. So we're still going to go for Meow, which is 112... Which might might not work out perfectly because we're But we might go to plus four once we have finished our last core. That's true. Good news, fur and quiet. Quiet quiet, something along those lines. UA pretenders. Hmm. I'm not saying you're not like the other. I'm just, uh, just another one in your case. You're a pretender. One of these days I'll never surrender. Yeah, I don't know the lyrics by heart. And I'll stop now. Meow, I've cancelled the rights to access. Okay. We were just at a hundred and more than that, I think. Or were we? Um, that wrinkles my brain. Slightly. Okay, but is it gonna be... And, oh man, this is... This calculation is rough. But it's only six years left to annex them. And then we can convert lands. In the middle of trying to get westernized, and we're crazy. So the reputation of our statesman has reached far beyond our borders. Our government is really lucky to have him. I guess so. 
Oh, Sion Mun was the one that got us that great work that gave us that stability or prestige event with the reduced tech cost that we couldn't get anything done with because it was so... Again in Merrigan as well. Is that your capital? Yeah, it is. That might be why it keeps popping up there, but... We can't take tech, but I'd rather wait for westernization to finish before teching up again. Because it'll be 60% cheaper then. Core, core, core is at 85%. Yeah, so because I need the admin points, I'm just going to be slightly relaxed right now with trying to conquer stuff. I do want to take Wu when that's available again. Um, okay, good. Meow is at the level we need them to be. Shen declared war upon their new enemy, Liang. Money from overseas. Um, bu 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 the Sakoku law. That was that decision we took. Anyway, the Tokugawa shogunate imposed and enforced the Sakoku policy, the foreign relations policy of Japan under which no foreigner could enter nor could any Japanese leave the country on penalty of death. The policy was in order to remove the colonial religious influence of Spain and Portugal and maintain Tokugawa supremacy over the other powerful lords in the country, particularly the Tozama daimyo. Spain and Portugal were perceived as posing a threat to the stability of the shogunate and to peace, with the increasing number of Catholic converts in southern Japan enforcing this. The Tozama daimyo had profited and managed to build up their military strength on the East Asian trading linkages during the Sengoku period. The restriction of trade was the Tokugawa Bakufu's means of ensuring no one of the daimyos could become too powerful to challenge its supremacy. Well, interesting story. Um... The Dutch have a really, really long trading relation going with Japan. Um, I think it was this year or last year that we celebrated the 400th anniversary of New York, which was founded by the Dutch as New Amsterdam. You can... The, the streets in downtown Manhattan, like in the lower part of Manhattan, still have Dutch names, like uh, Wall Street comes from the Dutch name for a wall it's like it was a city wall at some point uh, a lot of the burgs of new york as well are named after dutch cities brooklyn is brooklyn in uh, somewhere in north holland uh, harlem is harlem which is the capital of north holland um, well one of our provinces and there's um queens probably not sure if that works out uh flushing is named after vlissingen and so on and so on but the Dutch were really good traders, so eventually uh, they, um, they traded away New Amsterdam with Great Britain. I'm still not 100% sure if it was under force or not, but we did get Suriname in return, which for the Dutch was a lot better than cold ass New York and the backline territories because Suriname had coffee and coffee was booming at the time. But being avid traders got the Dutch to go all around the world. Um, New Zealand is named after the Dutch province of Zeeland. Uh, Australia was discovered by a Britishman, but Tasman Island is discovered by a Dutchman. Like, Tasman Island, that would be... Yeah, you go to the side. That would be this island here. Uh, Abel Tasman. A... Why do I find this prick here again, by the way? He's not... <laughs> Seriously, what the hell is this guy doing? And it's hilarious. I, Sorry, I've not seen this. Ha Did he finish this? Wow, he finished or not. Holy crap. Regardless, back to the story time. So, yeah, the, a lot of the Tas Tasman was a Dutch explorer. Who, who's the one who, who discovered New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken? I might get my facts mi mixed up at times. Anyway, he was the one that got New Zealand its name Zealand but it's the new one so um, to quote CGP Grey this Zealand is what makes this one new but yeah so the Dutch also went to Japan unlike the other European powers that the Japanese kept out as you can see with the Sakoku law the Dutch were allowed in 
and this was I think about 400 years ago as well that they were first allowed in or 350 ish years so around this time actually in the game that I am right now is when we went there as well uh, why were the Dutch allowed in because we were focused on trade we were reformed um, most of the Netherlands at least has the reformed religion as its key thing right now it's Protestant Jesus this is a mess as well but reformed was the religion of the Netherlands and the, when they came to Japan they did not want to convert Japan they did not want to convert the Japanese people Portugal and Spain did convert everywhere in the world to Catholicism even the French weren't as bad as the Spanish um, you have yeah, I, I'm going to talk about this more in the next episode because we're about to end this. So I'm going to talk about the archetypal, archetypal colonist, colonizations of um, these four main countries. And the Dutch and the Portuguese were more alike than you think when it comes to their colonization uh, creed, I should say. I'm going to talk about that at the beginning of the next episode. It's going to feel like telling some more stories right now. Um, but yeah, Sokokulo. But yeah, the Dutch were not converting the Japanese, which allowed us to trade um, with them really early on. And the Dutch were the only ones allowed in into Japan for a really long time of the foreign world, of Europe mostly at that time, of course. Uh, of Europe, actually, because of course the Japanese allowed Korean and Chinese traders from time to time because they were so close and they had good goods. I can only assume. But yeah, um, there's actually in Japan a theme park which is modeled after traditional Dutch architecture. I would assume also, again, mostly Amsterdam with um, moats everywhere. But yeah, it's J Japanese and Dutch relations go back a lot further than the other European nations. Good relations, I should add. Because Sekokulo is definitely um question it local unrest plus one or missionary strength follow sokoku until the death yes please national unrest will even more down regardless it's time to end the episode i would like to thank you all for watching make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future and pretty soon um, yeah next episode i'm going to start talking about what is the difference between Spanish, French, Dutch, Portuguese, and British colonization of the world, if you don't know yet. I'll see you guys later.